Hi there, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, where we cover real estate, design, and all things Austin. Today, we are taking you on a tour of our lake slash river. But before we dive in, we have had a couple of questions around Lago Vista versus Lakeway, and where is it the best place to raise a family? So listen, Austin is amazing across the board, so there is no best or better. They are very, very different towns. Lakeway is like fully developed. It's got a lot of development properties. It has beautiful lakefront homes and tons of amenities. If you're a local to Lago Vista, you might disagree with me, but truly it is on the rise. Although the people that have been there, I'm sure they love their quiet, nature-filled community, there are a lot of developments coming and a lot of amenities as well. But both of them are surrounded by Lake Travis and all the beautiful hill country, so they're both magical. If you're looking to get in at a little bit better price point, then you want to check out Lago Vista. Our lake is actually the Colorado River and it has a dam at the end in Lakeway called Mansfield Dam. So you can take a boat from downtown Austin all the way through hill country, winding through Rollingwood, Westlake, Cuernavaca, my neighborhood, and all the way through Lakeway and landing at Mansfield Dam. The dam was named for Robert Thomas Miller, a former mayor of Austin. The city of Austin owns the dam and lake for flood control, hydroelectric power generation, municipal water supply, and recreational purposes. One other perk of the dam is that our lake slash river from downtown to the dam is a constant water level. So there's parts of the lake after the dam that will change the water level at different decades. So right now we're pretty good, but I have seen it about 10 years ago where the lake was a bit low. Having easy access to the lake from a real estate standpoint has value, but it does come with a hefty price tag. You'll find stunning homes lakeside as you cruise by on a boat. One of the most desirable activities here in the warmer months. Believe me you, there are awesome boat clubs too if you don't want the responsibility of boat ownership. And of course, friends with boats are a great thing. However, once you cross the dam, you enter Lake Travis, which is actually a lake lake. It has over 25 boat rental venues operating on the lake from stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, and jet skis, to runabouts, wakeboards, boats, pontoons, sailboats, party barges, luxury yachts, and houseboats. This lake has it all. One of the most popular activities on the lake is taking to the water. The boat rental business typically offer their rentals two ways. Bare boat rentals, meaning you rent the boat uncaptained and are responsible for driving the boat and navigating around the lake, and captained or chartered rentals, meaning a captain driver is supplied and your job is relegated to just enjoying the day. Most of the rental companies provide an array of water toys with your rental. Let's dive into some of the hot spots on the lake. Lake Travis Zipline Adventures. The three hour adventure has five zips ranging from 250 feet to over 2,800 feet. While hiking between each zip, you'll enjoy amazing views of Lake Travis and the Texas Hill Country. Then there is the very exclusive Miraval Austin Resort and Spa in Lakeway. It's an all-inclusive experience and really it's a well-being retreat and they have a ton of nurturing specialists. Then there's Volente Beach Resort and Water Park with Beachside Billy's Restaurant. It's a family-friendly lakeside water park with rides, pools, and more, plus a grill serving American fare. There's also the Nautical Boat Club at Valente Beach, a third of the cost of boat ownership, by the way. Then there's Sun Dancer Grill. It's a premier restaurant on Lake Travis featuring a bistro dining experience with a casual lakeside atmosphere. The menu features chef-crafted salads, sandwiches, steak, and seafood prepared with fresh ingredients. Sundancer Grill is open for lunch, dinner, and Sunday brunch. There's also Rough Hollow in Lakeway. Rough Hollow is a resort-style community it's tucked away in the serenity of hill country. Austin's best master plan community two years in a row is how it's been voted. Lakeside living, 
Rough Hollow features over 30 neighborhoods with homes ranging from the 700s to the 3 millions and more. No matter your style or preference, Rough Hollow has the home that you've been looking for on the beautiful Lake Travis shoreline. There's also Canyon Grill, which is an upscale casual American restaurant at Rough Hollow Yacht Club with a patio overlooking Lake Travis. Then there's the lighthouse on the lake, serving classic American food with a warm and cozy feel and a relaxing atmosphere. Clean and sophisticated, kid-friendly, with a relaxing coffee spot and occasional live music, all in a stunning waterfront location. And of course, we can't forget the Oasis Texas Brewing Company, one of the best views on the lake. A Lake Travis craft brewery producing iconic, rustic session beers overlooking beautiful Lake Travis. The brewery and restaurant sits lakeside 400 feet above the lake with the best sunset views in Texas. Craft beer and live music. And then there's Devil's Cove. Devil's Cove is the go-to flotilla spot on the lake where boats anchor and tie together in huge partying floating condo complexes. If solitude is more your thing, the lake offers countless less traveled coves and anchor spots. So when it comes to the real estate, you will find the biggest price tags in town right on the water. For example, Apache Shores is a neighborhood much like mine in Cuernavaca. It is an unrestricted neighborhood. It has beautiful hillside views overlooking the lake running through it. It also has a high and low real estate market with the high side being the lakefront lots. Check out 2303 Bighorn Drive. With 1,944 square feet on almost half an acre, it does come with a boathouse and a dock. It boasts two bedrooms, two baths, and a hefty price tag at 2.95 million. Out in Lago Vista, you'll find some of the most affordable real estate in the Austin area, unless it is waterfront, like 19,921 Rancho Cielo Court, with 4,020 square feet, five acres, four bedrooms, four baths, you can get that luxury property at a $1.95 million price tag. And heading over to Spicewood, we're at 2208 Sea Biscuit Cove, number 131, with 3,316 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, and water views, you're looking at $1.849 million. So all of the areas that we've covered today are about 30 to 45 minutes from downtown, just to give you an idea. Austin life is lake life, no matter where you live in this big, beautiful place. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below. We'll see you soon. Bye.